In the world of modern artillery, few countries have a reputation for precision engineering and battlefield efficiency quite like Germany. For decades, German artillery systems have stood as benchmarks for quality, endurance, and technological innovation. From the legendary PZH-2000, one of the finest self-propelled howitzers ever created, to the modular and highly automated RCH-155, Germany has constantly sought to redefine the meaning of firepower. And now, a new chapter begins with the RCH-155 Tract, a next-generation artillery system that bridges the gap between mobility, automation, and heavy-duty combat endurance. The RCH-155 Tract recently unveiled by Kraus Maffei Wegmann, KMW, is more than an incremental upgrade. It is a bold step forward in the evolution of automated artillery. The system merges the proven artillery gun module AGM, of the RCH-155 with the new Boxer Tract platform, creating a hybrid of high mobility, superior off-road capability, and reduced crew dependence. This new tracked chassis is part of the KMW's and Rheinmetall's ongoing effort to expand the Boxer family into a universal modular combat platform. The Boxer Tract offers the same modular mission system concept as the 8x8 wheeled Boxer, but with enhanced off-road performance and protection levels comparable to main battle tanks. This makes it the ideal foundation for an artillery platform meant to operate in rough terrain and high-intensity combat environments. The original RCH-155 was a technological marvel. It used the Boxer 8x8 wheeled chassis and mounted the AGM on top, creating a self-propelled artillery system that could be operated by just two people. Its 155mm L52 cannon, derived from the PZH-2000, offered ranges exceeding 40 kilometers, 25 miles, with standard ammunition, and up to 54 kilometers, 33 miles, with rocket-assisted projectiles. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the wheeled version had limitations when it came to traversing muddy or broken terrain alongside tracked combat vehicles, such as the Leopard 2 or Puma IFV. That is precisely where the RCH-155 Tract enters the picture. By integrating the same automated turret onto a Tract chassis, KMW gives the system the mobility and ruggedness required for frontline artillery units. The Tract Boxer chassis allows the howitzer to move through the terrain that would bog down its wheeled counterpart – deep mud, snow, slopes, and soft ground. It also offers enhanced stability during firing which improves accuracy during high-rate fire missions. The RCH-155 Tract retains the same AGM turret as its predecessor. This self-contained module includes the 155mm L52 gun, a fully automatic loading system, an ammunition magazine, and all necessary fire control electronics. This weapon can fire a wide range of NATO standard 155mm shells, including precision-guided and extended-range munitions. Its rate of fire reaches 8 to 10 rounds per minute, all handled automatically. The gun can execute multiple rounds simultaneous impact MRSI, missions, firing several shells in rapid succession at different angles so that they strike the target simultaneously. This capability delivers sudden, overwhelming firepower before enemy forces can react or relocate. In terms of range, the RCH-155 Tract maintains impressive figures. It can fire standard rounds to 30 kilometers, 19 miles, base bleed ammunition to about 40 kilometers, 25 miles, and rocket-assisted projectiles or guided rounds beyond 50 kilometers, 31 miles. When equipped with GPS-guided shells such as Excalibur, it can hit targets at extreme distances with pinpoint accuracy. Automation is at the heart of the system's design. The RCH-155 Tract can be operated by a crew of just two, a driver and a commander. The gun is controlled via a digital interface that automates aiming, loading, and firing. No crew members need to enter the turret itself, which dramatically enhances safety in combat. The automation reduces human fatigue and allows the system to sustain longer missions with minimal downtime. Now, let's focus on the Boxer Tract platform itself, the real game-changer in this system. 
Designed as a modular tracked platform, it weighs approximately 43 tons in the RCH-155 configuration and is powered by a 1,000 horsepower MTU diesel engine. This engine provides the howitzer with a maximum road speed of around 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour, which is excellent for a vehicle of its class. Despite being heavy and armored, the Boxer Tract delivers impressive mobility thanks to its advanced suspension and powertrain derived from German armored vehicle design expertise. The vehicle's range is around 500 kilometers, 310 miles, giving it significant operational endurance in the field. The chassis is also designed to be future-proof, capable of accommodating hybrid electric propulsion or upgrade armor packages as technology evolves. The crew compartment offers high protection levels, similar to infantry fighting vehicles. The vehicle is armored against small caliber projectiles, shell fragments, and counter battery effects. Thanks to its low profile and shoot and scoot tactics, firing rapidly and moving immediately afterward, it minimizes exposure to enemy radar and counter fire. When compared with its legendary predecessor, the PZH-2000, the RCH-155 Tract offers a very different philosophy. The PZH-2000 remains one of the most heavily armed and armored howitzers in its service. With a crew of five and a high rate of sustained fire, it is designed for traditional high-intensity artillery duels where endurance and protection are paramount. The RCH-155 Tract, however, takes a more modern approach. It uses automation and digital control to reduce the crew to two, operates faster between firing positions, and requires far less logistical support. Its combat weight is about 15 tons lighter than the PZH-2000, giving it better fuel efficiency and mobility, especially on softer ground. In other words, the PZH-2000 is the brute force artillery powerhouse, while the RCH-155 Tract is the agile, intelligent counterpart. Together they form a complementary duo, one providing sustained heavy fire support and the other delivering rapid, precise strikes with greater flexibility and survivability. Internationally, the RCH-155 Tract faces limited direct competition. Few nations have developed such advanced, modular, and automated artillery systems. However, a few comparisons can still be made. South Korea's K-9 Thunder remains one of the most widely used tracked howitzers in the world, with excellent mobility and a 52 caliber gun similar in performance. Yet the K-9 relies on a 4- to 5-person crew and lacks the automation of the German system. The RCH-155 Tract, with its unmanned turret and automated operation, significantly reduces crew exposure to danger. The Swedish Archer Artillery System shares the same philosophy of automation and MRSI capability, but it is built on a wheeled chassis. While extremely mobile on roads, it cannot match the off-road performance or armored protection of the Tract Boxer chassis. The American M109A7 Paladin is still the backbone of U.S. self-propelled artillery and, despite upgrades, it remains partially manual and slower to deploy. The RCH-155 Tract, by contrast, embodies the next generation – lighter, faster, and smarter. It points toward a future where artillery systems will be increasingly automated and potentially unmanned. Another advantage of the RCH-155 Tract is its modular design philosophy. The AGM turret can be mounted on different platforms, which means that in the future, Germany could adapt it to new tracked or hybrid platforms without redesigning the gun system itself. This modularity offers flexibility for exports and future upgrades, aligning perfectly with NATO's growing emphasis on interoperability and adaptability. From a technological standpoint, the RCH-155 Tract also benefits from digital integration into network-centric warfare systems. It can communicate with drones, reconnaissance vehicles, or satellites to receive target coordinates in real time. Its advanced fire control system calculates firing solutions instantly, enabling the howitzer to deliver precision strikes even against moving or time-sensitive targets. 
but perhaps the most striking aspect of the RCH-155 tract is what it represents, a shift in how Germany envisions artillery warfare. The emphasis is no longer solely on raw power, but on automation, mobility, and crew safety. The ability to achieve full-fire missions with minimal human input makes the system not just efficient, but also a glimpse into the future of autonomous warfare. Moreover, the RCH-155 tract demonstrates Germany's commitment to rearming and modernizing its ground forces amid a changing security landscape. In the face of new global threats and a renewed focus on deterrence, Germany is investing heavily in future-ready systems, platforms that combine cutting-edge technology with proven reliability. By developing a tracked version of the RCH-155, Germany ensures that its artillery units can operate effectively in any environment. From open plains to forested terrain, from rapid deployment missions to prolonged ground operations, the system's modularity and digital architecture also make it an attractive option for NATO allies seeking next-generation artillery solutions. In summary, the RCH-155 tract is the culmination of decades of German artillery innovation. It unites the automation of the RCH-155 Boxer, the precision of the PZH-2000, and the mobility of the new Boxer Tract platform into a single, versatile system. It's not just another howitzer, it's a statement. A symbol of how far automation and modularity have come, and a vision of what the battlefields of tomorrow will look like. Fast, connected, intelligent, and deadly efficient. The RCH-155 tract stands ready to carry Germany's artillery legacy into the next generation of warfare. What are your thoughts on the RCH-155 tract? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.